Hi there, welcome to a new video. In this one we're going to model all these things that are now missing. Uh, in the last video we added our terrain object and there is now a gap between our building and the terrain that we need to fulfill somehow. We should of course put there all the real foundations and all, all what not, but we don't have that data here. We don't know how they are, so I'm just going to like close the gap between between the terrain and and the uh, and the model. And um, you see that below these uh, tiles, we have kind of tiled um, tiled wall too. So I'm thinking how to do that best. Um, so I'm thinking I'm just going to draw a line below these tiles that will become a wall afterwards. So this is simple. I always like to draw to set a style that is a bit uh, different so we can clearly see what we are drawing. And this is something I really like in FreeCAD, which is different than most other BIM applications. Uh, is that you rarely need to go to, like, you know, to an elevation to draw in elevation, to a plan view to draw in plan view. Uh, you can just keep drawing in the 3D view. It's pretty um, intuitive and it works nicely and uh, you always know where you're drawing because of the the working plane and so it works quite well actually and um, so now I drew this line and I'm making a wall out of it okay this looks good perfectly what we need Copying the color, so we we'll for some reason the, the color dialog of Frika that just recently changed, and um, I don't know why this color didn't just appear there, a bug somewhere. But anyway, saved it as a custom color. Okay. It's not quite right. Anyway, what I'm going to try now is to use the block system that we used for the white walls above to mimic the um, uh, the tiles. And we now that our block uh, is one hundred. For some reason, this is not working. This block feature is quite new and it's still a bit buggy sometimes. Um, and in this case, it didn't seem to work well. Probably because our wall has a lot of kinks and corners and the, the algorithm that calculates blocks got, got lost. Um, Probably the way to fix this is to make simple walls instead of making just one big polyline, uh, make smaller segments. But in this case, let's not lose time with this. Um, we'll see what we do about it later on. For now, 
let's go ahead and make the rest of the walls. And so I'm doing exactly the same thing here. Drawing some polylines. Yes, these big uh, slabs are annoying thing to snap to because they have a lot of vertices. So snapping becomes slow. Adjusting the wall properties so it extrudes downwards. Setting the shape color. Don't know why the sh color is not exactly right, but as I told you, there are some problems with the new um, color dialog. It's because because of the switch to Qt5, and couldn't find out exactly what's what's wrong with it yet. So here we need another wall. Always a good idea to save often. You can see that here, um, this wall needs to be a little bit higher because we are not uh, under the, the, the tiles anymore. And although it seems uh, that wh when you're like working in, in directly in the 3D view, uh, it might seem confusing. I did something wrong here. Oh, of course, and to make a wall and not a structure. I was saying, um, although it might seem confusing, uh, directly working in a 3D view is quite powerful because it basically allows you to snap anywhere even in points that wouldn't be visible or easily findable in in a 2d view when you rotate the 3d view you just happen to find them okay this is nice but these thicknesses should be matching here but we'll see that later on let's make the last one Same thing here. Snapping to these complex objects is, is annoying because uh, it takes a lot of calculation. That should actually um, disable the, the intersection snapping, which is basically always the culprit. It's, it's the most expensive one in terms of uh, calculation. Um, out of laziness, now I didn't disable it, but. Uh, I always try to disable in, uh, intersection snapping as much as I, as I can. Um, 
which makes snapping really faster. But here in this case, uh, just for one wall, it wasn't really a problem. So let's try to match this thickness, not enough. Of course, I remember now that our walls were 16 centimeters width wide. Now this seems correct. Now these stairs here, you see that we have a profile here. So I think the easiest thing is simply to use this since we already have one, someone already calculated it. I need three vertices to align my working plane. And the easiest thing to do here will be just um, draw a shape here. You see that this is really slow and I'm mean like removing everything I don't need and then snapping is fast again. And um, so it's always a trade-off um, what you need and what you don't need and what can speed things up. And then I'm going a bit lower. If you press the Q key, you have these, you can mark these um, temporary snapping location, which is quite useful. They can give you a lot of additional snapping locations. So every time you press Q while, while drawing, you, ma you are marking a temporary snapping point. Um, now I'm moving this profile to the right location. Um, you see, we have a stairs tool uh, in FreeCAD that we could, could have used, but then I would have had to uh, recalculate myself how many uh, steps I need and, and so forth, uh, while we already have a profile here. So it was just way faster to just use the profile and draw a polyline on top of it. Um, you see, that as we saw our terrain is not exactly following our borderlines. Uh, this is because we turned it into a spline and maybe I should have added more contour points to, to, this, to the line. But um, we're not really going to uh, worry about that now. So I'm gonna here simply stretch these stairs down so it's, um, it doesn't leave a gap um, within the terrain. And it's a bit wrong, of course, because the first step will be just way too high. Um, so this should be fixed better later on. But for now, just to have a model that's, um, that doesn't have any gap, uh, I'm just going, going to stretch that. some reason this doesn't seem to have worked quite well uh, probably something wrong happened here I lost all my stairs so let's do undo 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 everything I removed extrusion and I'm going to do the stretching again but this time I'm gonna place the working plane in the right plane so I don't risk to, to um, stretch my yeah that worked it's still flat okay now that worked correctly Okay, 
So this is wrong, of course. The terrain should come a little bit higher there, but that will do for now. Later on, we see how we can fix this terrain. So that's it for now. And um, yeah, you see what definitely we need more contour points to, to the border curves here to make this terrain uh, a little bit accurate, more accurate. And that will probably solve our first step here.